my fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in Paris. And today we're going to talk about a safety advice for visiting Paris. Because one of the questions we do get quite often is, is Paris safe to visit? And yes, Paris is safe to visit. We've come here probably 20 times with our kids, with the grandparents, by ourselves, and we've had a fantastic time and we have not felt unsafe when you're here. But you need to realize this is a big city. There's lots of tourists. And when there's a big city and there's lots of tourists, there are some crime things. And there's some things that you need to consider. And that's what we're going to go through on our video today. And I think the thing that scares tourists the most when they come here is probably they're worried about getting robbed. They're worried about pickpockets, okay? And I won't lie to you, there are pickpockets here in Paris and probably the two spots you really need to kind of focus on it the most to look out for pickpockets. One, any tourist site that has a lot of tourists, that's gonna be a site that they're gonna work at. And two, the metro, okay? So if you're gonna be going into the Louvre and you see where there's a lot of people taking in the Mona Lisa or any of the sites, you'll notice there's actually signs in the Louvre saying, be aware of pickpockets because they do work there because they know you're so interested in looking at the Mona Lisa, you don't notice when their hand slips into your back pocket or your front pocket or whatever, okay? Also, that can be at any of the sites. You're going to the Arc de Triomphe and you're there looking at things, the Eiffel Tower. Just be extra cautious whenever there's a lot of tourists when you're there. Now, on the Metro, the most important time to pay attention when you're on the Metro is when you're getting on and off of the Metro train, okay? Because if you're getting on and off, that's what you're really focused on. We gotta get off here. We got, do we have like, let's go, let's go, or we gotta get on, let's go. And they know that. So that's when their hand slips in your pocket or and then the doors close, they're either in the, in the car with your wallet or they're outside the car with your wallet. So do be extra careful and extra vigilant going in and out of the metros. Also, I will say is when you put your ticket in to go into the metro, some people might try to follow you in. And sometimes you think, oh, they just want to get in for free. Well, no, sometimes they're going for your back pocket. That actually happened to my dad and the cops literally jumped over the things and grabbed the girls that did it to my dad. And they dropped everything on the ground like, oh, we don't have it, so you can't get it. So we ended up going on our way and I don't know whatever happened to those girls that, that pickpocketed my dad, but it's one of those things you really need to consider when you're here. Now, it's not a huge problem, but do be aware. You know, use your money belt, keep your wallet in your front pocket, you know, those usual things, that, that's gonna be helpful. Another thing you have to think about when you come here to Paris with safety are the scams that are here. And we have a video that's got like 2 million views just on the scams of Paris, because there are a lot. The ones I really recommend you watch out for, one is the petition scam, where people will come up to you, ask you to sign a petition. Are you against, you know, you know, nuclear war, of course we are, you know, but I don't just stay away from the petition scam people. If anyone tries to tie anything on to you or your kids, just be like, no, no, just walk away. Or if they try to give you something like, oh, did you lose this ring or would you like this flower? Just walk away, okay? Um, another thing I think for a safety for your money is I've seen a lot of people doing the like cup scam where it's like, oh, the, where's the ball in the cups? I was up by Sacre Coeur yesterday just watching people just lose money after money after money, okay? Because you're never going to win that game. So it's kind of a safety thing. But I think the most important safety thing and the thing that actually gets most of the tourists in terms of ending up in the hospital when you come to Paris is crossing the street. Look, Paris is infamous for the driving or crazy driving, crazy parking and, and people and the honking and all kinds of stuff. And you as a tourist, remember your magic fanny pack does not protect you from that Peugeot that's driving too fast down the road. You need to make sure you're always looking both ways. You may think it's a one-way street. It might not be. Okay, so that's one of the big things there. And one of the biggest traffic faux pas and, and crosswalking faux pas that happen in Paris. Look, if you're gonna go to the Arc de Triomphe, you know, it's in the middle of the world's largest traffic circle. You do not cross the road to get onto it. There's steps you go down and underneath the traffic circle to come up at the Arc de Triomphe. You don't try to walk across. I mean, every time I go there, there's some fool trying to go through. That's a good way to get yourself in the hospital when you are here, okay? So don't do that. Now, another safety thing that people kind of get worried about when they come to France in general are strikes or industrial actions or protests. My advice is if you're gonna be going, just be aware if there are any strikes or protests going on, stay away from that. You don't know what the protest is for. You might be for the protest. It's best to stay away from those if you are a tourist because we've been here, you know, when there's been protests going on and we've had to walk through and it was fine, but it's best to kind of avoid those things. And if you know strikes are gonna happen, like they usually announce if the trains are gonna go on strike or Air France is gonna have issues and those things get planned around. So just be aware of it. Now, anywhere you travel, obviously you gotta worry about nefarious folks that are out there. And yes, there are scammers and pickpockets, but anytime you're going out, especially late night, do be aware of your surroundings. You know, if there's a group of guys over there and you don't feel comfortable walking by them, don't cross the other side of the street, turn around and go the other way, just so you're feeling more comfortable because you know what? 
just like in New York, just like where I live. It's a group of people that are looking like they're up to no good. They might be up to no good. Now, another thing I think is important in terms of safety is when you're gonna get your cash out. If you're gonna go to an ATM here in France or in Paris, you'll see they're all over the place, okay? Now, one thing I wanna tell you, and this is a security thing for your money, is if you're gonna be using an ATM, you know, always cover up when you put in your PIN number, but also, if they ask you, they say, oh, would you like us to convert this to dollars already? Never take the conversion. Just say, I want euros. I decline the conversion. Let your bank back home do, do, do that. Don't, don't, don't have the ATM do that. That's one thing. Also, you'll notice there will be beggars that might be by the ATM that will be watching and they might want to ask for money. So if you don't feel comfortable, maybe go inside of a bank to use an ATM. I just want to give you a heads up for that because I've seen a lot of people being being you know, kind of accosted right after they go to the ATM, so I wanted to give you a heads up for that. Now another safety issue I think you need to realize, when you come to Paris, your safety issue of your luggage. You do not want to bring too much luggage when you come here, because if you're gonna be using the metro, or you're gonna be using the trains, having a lot, of, a lot of luggage doesn't really work with that. There's not a lot of overhead space to put your bags. There's not a lot of space to put things on the metro. You know, there's packed in there, there's they're smaller trains. It can be a safety issue because you don't have a lot of space for everything. And if you got all that luggage and with all these cobblestones, it can be a troublesome thing because I've seen a lot of tourists that are trying to get their bags with all these cobblestones and a wheel breaks off. So do be aware of that. Also with the safety is also you're walking here all those cobblestones wear good shoes that are made for lots of walking okay and walking on cobblestones to kind of save your feet and ankles from any bad things happening to them oh and one more thing with the trains i will say if someone offers to help you to get your luggage onto the train if it's a person going on the train it's okay but just know that you don't want people to help you with your luggage so do minimize the luggage when you're coming here okay i'm just i'm just letting you know that all right now some other safety advice I think you need to realize is one of the things that might get you hurt or run over or pissed off is actually other tourists. Because when you go to really popular tourist spots, you will see people pushing and shoving and, and some people get upset with that. One of the big places I see is in Versailles where tour groups come through and those tour guides do not care about anybody else except the people in their tours. So they will run you over. They will push you out of the way. We've had people shove our kids out of the way. The tour guides, okay? And so I will say, be aware of the tour groups because they just kind of take over the sidewalk and they'll push you out of the way and just, just have a heads up for that. And if you're in one of those tour groups, be polite to the other tourists that are there, all right? Also, if you are someone that is claustrophobic, I do not recommend going up the Eiffel Tower because how smushed you get and, and how like it can be a bit much. I've gone up with people that we only got one floor up and they freaked out. We actually walked down the steps because they couldn't take all the people there. So that's another safety thing to think about. And then you have your, your general safety advice, you know, like don't walk with your backpack on your back when you're, you know, going in the metro or going up escalators. Put your bag in front of you. Um, you know, make sure you have copies of your documents on your phone or saved on, on Google Drive or something like that in case your passport gets lost, in case your tickets are lost you have those things there use the safe at your hotel if you're gonna leave your passport in the hotel have a copy of your passport with you in case you need documentation so just basic safety advice and we've got videos on basic safety advice for traveling I'll link that below that can help you out we've got videos on tourist traps here in Paris and tourist traps in France and scams in France and Paris that can help you out as well but I thought it was important for us just to talk about some of the safety things that you need to think about when you're here okay so I know for us, when we stay here, the six arrondissement is nice uh, to stay and it's pretty safe. We actually stay in Montmartre most of the time though, and that's been pretty safe up there, um, up by Sacre-Cœur. So you've got options out there and I hope you have a safe time when you're here in Paris. Bye.